Are you getting it? <laughs> so hey, so I'm filming him. He's fixing to do an interview here right quick or whatever. So I'm filming him getting this. We're going, y'all, y'all. Well, we're going to grade him on camera setup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything. He's he, Don't catch me out of breath, he, he's got his he's got his Osmo right there. He's he's fixing to go at it. He's getting it. No pressure, man. No no pressure. Holy <laughs> moly. Tell us who you are, man. Hey, everybody. I'm Hank from Hamiltonville Farm. How about you? <laughs> uh, having a great time out here with Cotton Top 3. Uh, this place is amazing. I appreciate you letting me tag along, Tim. Oh, yeah. yeah. They come all the way up from the beaches of Panama City Beach, Florida. That's right. Yeah. I spent a lot of gas money to come out here. Right. <laughs> exactly. Oh, Lord have mercy. No. That was funny the other day when... Uh, I sent you the pen. You said it's 300, was it 336 miles or it's something like that? It's a long <laughs> way. Yeah, but I tell you, and it's but it's a beautiful drive, and uh, I'm just glad my truck made it. Good yeah, thing. it'll it'll pay off. It'll it'll pay off for you in the long run, and you know? all. Yeah, so right. yeah. Did I pass? Oh yeah, you did good. Okay. You did good. I'm gonna put my camera down. We're gonna get busy. <laughs> So I kind of caught him off guard a while ago, but <laughs> we drove all the way up here from Panama City down there to uh, take a visit and uh, hang out for a little while because you're heading on north. Yeah, that's right. What you got? Probably three more hours from About here? that, yeah. About three About more that. hours yeah, I'm going up. and uh, going to be up there doing some more collaborations yep, and yep. stuff like that. And, uh, and also, it's always fun to get with, get with people and talk to them and share different things with them and and stuff like that and and then people to come out here to kind of see how everything sure. kind of looks compared to what it looks yeah, like absolutely yeah because it's uh most time people get out they say there's there's like two or three things they're like this is a lot different than, than what it is <laughs> or th they get up close to the machines and they talk about how much larger the machines they're are big. Because, yeah. I mean, we're standing, we're standing oh, yeah. beside the grapple right yeah, here in yeah. a shady spot under the boom up under us. And, uh, and, you know, so it's it's always it's always pretty fun. Yeah. And for me, getting out and meeting people. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. It's always really cool. Yeah, yeah. I, I like that. And uh, so I got to try to line it up with old Chad down there. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, yeah. Come down there. He and, might teach you how to work a chainsaw. Uh, yeah. And, uh. <laughs> We, we, me and me and Chad need to have a carbon competition. We're not talking about our Chad here. We're talking about old Chad Ganey with Hus yeah. Warner. He's a chainsaw carver down there in your yeah. area down that's there. Right. Yeah, good guy. And uh, I could probably carve some squares and stuff yeah, that's like right. that. I yeah. don't know that I can that's handle right. some of that stuff he's doing. But. Hey, I'll tell you what, though. He's done some, man, his artwork for fallen trees for the hurricane. Mm -hmm. Man, he's turned our nuts. place into, yeah, it's oh, nuts. Yeah, yeah. nuts. Yeah, yeah he, he does an amazing job. Yeah, he, he is... Uh, he has eyes to see things that nobody sure. else can see. Sure, yeah, but, he does a great uh, job. Yeah, so it's uh, it's cool come up here and hang out for a little while. Yeah, man, I appreciate you letting me come up, man. So uh, stuff like that, but uh, yeah, I appreciate you letting me see uh, uh, the operation here. It's a, it's always cool to see, you know, how how things get done. Yeah, you know? mm -hmm. so I appreciate it. Yeah, because this is the starting point of what you wipe your butt with. That's right. Man. Yeah, <laughs> if you, yeah. If you like wiping your butt, think a lumberjack. That's right. <laughs> Exactly. Exactly. So that's a fact, but, Jack. So you live down there, yeah, and uh, you kind of dodged the hurricane last fall and everything, right? Your yep. place really didn't get hurt. Or that's anything, right. Did it? All our trees fell parallel with our house, and so uh, we've had uh, we had seven or eight trees fall that we literally would just just had to saw up into logs right. and, and stack them to the side. So. Tore that tore Panama City up down tore there. Tore slap up. Yeah, I mean, slap up. people don't realize how bad it is down there. It's a totally different landscape. They they really publicized the hurricane that came into South Carolina last year, but it was a drop in the bucket oh, for yeah. what happened to Florida. Just a swath of it all. Yes. And, uh, it was, it's incredible the amount of damage it did. Yeah. You still go, you see blue, blue tarp roofs everywhere you go. Right. Nine months after the fact. Right, so. shoot. Well, man, we're going to wrap this video up. You got to do later taters for me, man. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, appreciate you coming up, man. Yeah, thanks That's a lot. Nice. I yeah. appreciate it. Yeah, so. All right. Later taters. There we go. <laughs> Y'all see the old bunny rabbit right there? Let's zoom in on him. See? Old bugs, bunny. 
So here's the trailer. Get her zoomed all the way back out. I pulled the reflective stripe and everything's got dew on it right now off on the other side. Got got rid of it. I've got some 3M uh, reflective tape coming that I'll put all over it and uh, do that. So the, the other way, I just, I'm a perfectionist and I can't handle that stuff like that. So I snatched it off. But I got all new LEDs on it all the way around it. Just do a quick little walk around. Oh, my Viagra board. Some of y'all know about my Viagra board. That board in the middle right there with the two carriage bolts in it. Uh, I'm not sure what the deal was with that board. That board, some days I'd come out here and that thing would be, be sticking straight up in there. Some days I'd come out here and that board would be laying flat down like it is right now. Well, it actually snapped the bolt slap off of it. Or it yeah, the bolts that were on it it snapped them off it was pulling on it so hard it snapped them off so i fixed that dude the other night before i brought it out i put two carriage bolts in it so that one won't be embarrassing me by sticking up going down the road anymore i fixed it so there's another led i need to paint the rims but i don't know if i am or not now i'm real happy on the back back here these leds back here on the back are really bright now these two holes right here used to be uh, backup lights, and they were a joke. They wasn't any count anyhow. So I just not replacing them with backup lights, um, replacing them with uh, brakes and turns. So, and they'll be here today. So here and here will be, there will be three brake lights on this side and three on that side, and of course three turns and three brakes. And, uh, which I wasn't ever really crazy about this because like when you got this ramp up, which is the way that I have my trailer most all the time, this light over here is hard to see because this ramp right here blocks it pretty bad, you can see. And uh, I wasn't real crazy about that, but with this one right here and that one being a break, it'll help the visibility quite a lot on that. This is the side that the dogs or whatever tore up over at my mom and dad's when I had it parked over there for about a week and you can see what I did over here with it with the wire loom I uh, fixed it up everything soldered I've actually got some footage of soldering everything and how I did that with heat shrink wrap that uh that I'll show later on but uh it turned out pretty good it's not I mean it's not perfect but I mean uh just for what I'm gonna you know what I'm gonna do with it and everything just got a coat of paint on it I'm thinking about having it uh, lettered up here on the neck I'm not a hundred percent that I'm gonna do that or not but we'll see if we do if I do I'll show it to you but I've got a job right now sun's coming up uh, I went and looked at one last night and uh, it's kind of pinning it. The guy's got to have a dump trailer for me to be able to do what he wants me to do. And so I'm waiting just a few more minutes to hear from him whether he has got the dump truck in his, his in his or dump trailer in his possession or not. If not, it'll have to go for next week. I do have two jobs that are solid lined up for this next week to do, and I get that done. But uh, y'all, yes, in the first part of the video with old Hank there. Uh, from Hamiltonville Farms uh, we, we've we been talking for I don't know a couple months or so about him coming up here and uh, so he made a trip yesterday to come up for a visit it's always cool to uh, have someone out and uh, to see the machines and see the equipment and he spent about it was nearly three hours there on the job I believe and uh, hanging out there and, and he had it on north so uh, y'all can go check him out him and his wife Gina down there they're uh <clears throat> they're they're working on their place and fixing it up and it's kind of a uh, an on one of those ongoing processes and filming it in the in the process of uh of doing it so he fools with tractors and uh the compact stuff things like that and which a lot of people are interested in that stuff but uh so y'all can go over there. i'll put a link down below in the description to uh to his channel down there and uh so you can check all my stuff up, out down below uh 
Remember, Rhoda Beck, uh, if I get, I may go in there and do another voiceover for them right quick and get that sent to Pierre for tomorrow's video because uh, I think I'm supposed to be doing one for tomorrow. So let me get in there and get busy and get that done before I get this call. It may have been a text right there. It just came in on that. So uh, appreciate all y'all watching. <laughs> we'll catch y'all later. Later, taters.